Hey tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. This is my channel documenting my journey as a crochet designer. And today I'm bringing this little vlog to you, showing off this project. I've stickered my sewing machine. So I took some vlog, blah, blah, blah. I've taken some vlog footage of me working on it and now I'm just going to show you around my sewing machine. Um, if you're looking for a usual crochet chat then hop on over to the playlist that's shown up above now and you'll be able to find that. Um, otherwise this is just a little vlog of a project that I've worked on that I thought I'd just share with you all. Hey tribe, it is the 7th of September, it's Saturday, it's about half one and I'm just showing you the little thing that I'm working on at the moment. So if any of you follow Steel and Stitch on Instagram, which I highly recommend, she is the amazing crochet hacker that is turning all sorts of items and upcycling them into pieces of clothing and she's been making dungarees and so on and so forth and there's pictures of her sewing machine and it is a standard sewing machine like this but it's covered in stickers and I really really want to do it to mine and I thought I'm going to have to buy some stickers and um, hers look like vinyl stickers maybe and I thought I'm going to have to buy some and then I've been doing my clearing through my yarn, well my craft stuff and all of a sudden it dawned on me that I have a ton, a ton of stickers right here. I love those. Love, love, love. Absolutely love them. Pretty sure my dad brought me those ones and they were from an X and I love them. Not the X, the stickers. Um, but I've got all of these here, all of this. Um, there's all sorts of different ones from Paper Chase, from Pound Shops, from wherever I've seen them. Um, butterflies, there's even Christmas related ones there. Disney princesses, um, all sorts of butterflies, hearts, bunting, cakes, Hello Kitty, glow in the dark. Oh, you know I'm using the glow in the dark. I'm sure my dad got me them. He always likes to get me glow in the dark stuff. And I've got camper vans, more butterflies, I've got animals, that reminds me of my brother because he's a bodybuilder and he carries himself like that. I might send a picture of that to him, I might even give it to him. And then more butterflies, random ones, oh wow. And what I was going to do is get rid of all of these and donate them to my church. So I think what I'm going to do is a last hoorah is go through all of that and I'm going to stick a junk this um, just because I want it to <sighs> see I make my mind up and then I'm like torn because I, in my mind I can see my sewing machine in the future like in an absolutely stunning craft room, sewing room or clean lines and then I'm like yeah, that's not me, that's not right now, and I want to cover it in all these stickers. I've got um, all sorts of marks and scratches on this where I've had this since I was 16, so I'm 30 in December. 14 years this has served me. Um, I'm not going to change it until it breaks and gives up the ghost. Um, I have to thread the needle, it's got its basic stitches, but for the amount I sew and everything I do, it's perfect. And I, it was bought as a very special present. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna decorate it in all of these stickers. I'm gonna go and get some spray and a cloth, I'm gonna give it a scrub everywhere, um, cover it in stickers. Another thing I need to do another time is just give it a service. The light bulb no longer, no longer lights up and there's a lot of fluff, so all that needs sorting out. But right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sticker this up. I can't wait to put the glow in the dark ones on there. Okay, so let me get this cleaned. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I don't want it to look naff, but I also think it's a really cool way to use up a load of these before I donate them. 
I have so many stickers because I did a lot, a lot of junk journaling and I just, I don't use them. I really don't use them all that often. Huh, bit big. I really don't use them all that often. It's taking up space that I no longer want them to take up. And I know that, oh, there's Mr. Bump there as well, the Mr. Men. I know that um, they'll be a lot more use for them at church and that they will actually get used up rather than just sitting here taking up space for a random project. And I guess if they're at church and I really need a sticker or something, I can just ask to go and use a couple. So it's no biggie. And a lot of these were just a pound or from my mum's stash. So, you know, I can always go and read her stash again or go and get some more. It's, it's no biggie. I'm going to let it go. I don't want them weighing me down anymore. So... I'm gonna get cleaning, I'm gonna get sticking, and then I'll show you the finished process. Hey tribe, 7th of September, and it's about 20 to two. I've given this a good scrub out. I even used a cotton tip, which is there, and I've put my first sticker on. It is a glow-in-the-dark spaceship. Um, I've taken this part off because I don't want to accidentally stick over the edges and cause any problems for myself. And I'm going to be really careful um, where there's any joins at the moment. I'm not going to go over them because, as I said, I want to take this apart and give it a good service. And I don't want any of my stickers to be in the way. So I am going to sticker this up and then show you what it looks like after. Now that the first sticker's on, I'm like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm doing this. I know that I'll get to about... 75% through. It's usually about 60% through and I think, uh oh, what am I doing? This is a bad idea. This is gonna look awful. Oh no, I'm ruining it. And then I get to about 75% and I have a complete meltdown. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. And I get to 95% and I'm like, yes, best project ever. Um, and also, as I was saying just a minute ago, you know, well, if I need them, I can get more. I think sometimes when we're letting go of things, we really focus on um, what we're losing and what we might miss out on and I read somewhere that as soon as we like as soon as it comes to letting something go or changing we really focus on the scarcity so we focus on what we are leaving behind rather than what we're gaining and what I'm really enjoying in this process of simplifying my belongings is that I'm gaining more time to do the things I want to do and a lot more focus towards that so there's a lot more crochet time in my life now and I've been meaning to service this for such a long time, whereas now I genuinely feel that I can carve out an afternoon or a couple of hours to sit and do it. Whereas before I would have been like, oh, but I should be journaling, I should be spinning, I've got yarn that needs reorganising. And now everything is just so much simpler. I know that I really want to do this because I really want to carry on sewing. So don't worry about what you're losing, guys. Focus on what you're gaining. This is so cool. Right, I'm going to get my sticker on. 7th of September, five minutes on. Oh my goodness. Oh, you, <laughs> you beauty. Look, just look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. I bought these stickers from Hobbycraft back in December when I went and got the yarn to make a beaded jumper, which I still haven't done. It looks amazing. Now, if I stop and show you this every sticker, it's going to be a long process. So I might go get my tripod and put this <laughs> so that you can, well, set my tripod up so you can see me sticking because, oh my goodness, I, oh. Yeah, now have I got enough stickers that I can do HD Designs crochet across the back of my sewing machine? Because you now I want to HGDC. So H G D E D S I G N S Designs. 
crochet C R O C H O the last H I don't think I've got enough G's I don't need G C R O C H E T Oh, I could. I could fit it in. But then in my head, I'm like, should I pick out letters from all the different... Oh. Oh, the decisions. Or should I just stick it, stick them in and that? Mate, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to get my tripod, set you up so you can be in on this process because looky, looky, it's so cute. And I'm going to get rid of that Q-tip because it's grim. Okay, tripod, a sticker, sticker, sticker. Hey, hey tribe, it's three o'clock on Saturday the 7th of September. I've been at this for about 15 minutes and I've also paused to get some food because I don't know about you, but when I'm hungry, I cannot think straight and the sticking wasn't happy. It wasn't enjoyable. I've kind of scattered all of these out. These are the ones that I want to feature on here somewhere. And some of these are the ones I've used. I've got loads under my book. Ooh. more of those in there. Um, I've stuck HD Designs Crochet with love and that bit so far is my favourite. I love, love, love those school stickers. I'm really pleased to be able to use them. This bit was more childish um, and I want to, I, I don't want it to look like my four-year-old niece did the sticker in, though it doesn't matter if she did. And I'm going to move that bit and put it on this end and then if I just spin this around oh. so far I've got HDDC, a couple of skulls and this one's got a flower in his hair so but I think I've made the decision to leave like that bit clear and just put one sticker on there and I'm still undecided about the flatbed under here but again, I think I might leave it clear, but this bit I will do. Um, we'll see how it looks. I might put something on that bit. Watching. Um, sorry, the washing machine's on. So I'm gonna crack on and I'm gonna set a timer and just give myself like 20 minutes to sit and do this. Um, and then whatever stickers are left, pack back in this and it's going in the donation pile. So next time you see this, it'll be finished. Take it all in tribe. So I kicked off with, originally I had a rocket here. I changed my mind on that. Um, the next thing I actually added was this hashtag HDDC. I just really wanted to include my sewing machine in the tribe. Um, and I love that these are rose gold with pink. So if I squat down a little bit, you can see the pink is like a chrome rose gold, which is totally my colour at the moment. And it's on the top, so as I'm sewing, I'll be able to see it. I just think it will keep me focused on everything that I've got planned and the things I want to make. And I decided to make the front really uncluttered um, so that I'm not too distracted from what I'm working on. So I've got a lot of these sort of clear ones. I've got... Um, Kind of slightly see-through with glitter on. Now, as I explained before, I've added these stickers on because my sewing machine has some wear and tear from being 14 years old. Um, my younger self didn't always take the most proper care over this. And to be honest, I will at some point be making a cover for this to sit on my shelf. But for now, it's just sitting as it is. So hopefully there'll be no more bumps to it. Um, but I added all these clear ones, a big flower, a heart and another heart and I've gone with a camera and again I know it's a little bit grimy, I'm going to give it a service 
and get a real good deep clean. Um, but if you're judging me, that's up to you. And I've got a big skull here. I love skulls. I am obsessed with them. I want it as part of my tattoo on my leg at some point. Um, and they are also in like a rose gold kind of chrome colour, which is a really nice accent. And then I put another big flower up here. And then here, this heart, that actually has sprinkles in it that moves. And then I put a pink diamante star. That reminds me of a sunflower, so it had to go on and more of the flowers. And then down here, I've added a clear glittery heart and another skull. And I put a flower in this one's hair because we all need flowers. Um, and I think I showed you the camera already because then I was like, oh, dirty. Um, and then, oh, don't forget this H. Now I'm tempted to move the H up a little bit so that when you're sat at a normal height you see it there. Um, but I've got a H and then I'm going to save the side and show you after. So if we open this up, oh sorry for the noise, we have got, all of these, all of these are glow in the darks. So I'm really, really excited and I might turn the light off in a minute and just see if they glow. Ah, the diamond has got hair stuck in it, which is grim. Bit, we've got Belle, a shooting star, very happy, which I am, and sewing brings me joy. These are all glow in the dark, some flowers, that one looks like a sunflower, and a big old gorilla. More glow in the darks all here, and then this one, we've got a pink stamp with a birdie, some cakes, a poodle. Fun fact for you, my mum has three poodles. Um, and then on the side of this, I've put with love, to you always, and another glow-in-the-dark star. And then, if I flip this down, there's the rocket. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> um, so let me put this on, I'm sorry for the noise wasn't too painful. Down here, it's a little bit dark, but you can see, Jasmine, this little quote says, let the sun catch you dancing, which I think is cute. And Eiffel Tower, really, really, really want to go to Paris. Um, live with love to you always, the glow in the dark star. And then I'm going to show you the two sides and the back. Moving on to the back, I had kind of thought about putting Yarn Life across there, but it would annoy me that on this side it would be the right way, but then when it was up it'd be the wrong way. So I just decided to leave it. Um, I might add something on a later date, I don't know. But the main amazing bit on here is this HG Designs Crochet. Ah, oh, honestly, it's like my favourite, favourite thing. Um, well and truly made my sewing machine part of the tribe and I just think that looks amazing. Um, and then if we look at a few more, I won't show them all, but just some. It was made for pink and I've got a Barbie sticker, a pink diamante, a glow in the dark star and a skull, which just totally sums up my grunge side that also just loves pink. And if I zoom out, you can see that I decided to put splashes of yellow throughout this. So you've got Mr. Happy here, a smiley face, this one says live, love, laugh, this cute flower, and then yellow, 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 yellow. So, so cool. So let me show you some more of these stickers. If we zoom in over here, I've got like an art deco corner, padlock, a yellow skull. That is like, oh sorry, it's green, neon lime green. Another heart with confetti bits. <laughs> That's the T-Rex from Pepper. Pirate's treasure. That one's mirrored, so you can see my hand a little bit. Um, camper van. I love van life. Embossed heart. Pepper herself. Treasure. Not treasure. What's that? Pirate ship. That one says mostly sunny, which is how I try to live my life. Ice cream. Glow in the dark. Treasure map. Flower. Look at them all, just look at it all. Uh -huh. 
I love this with love and just the HG Designs Crochet. HG Designs Crochet. Welcome to the tribe, sewing machine. Welcome to the tribe. So that leaves the two sides. Let me move this so that you can see this side. Oh, okay. So we've got lol, lol. Um, that's a nasty, nasty little dent there. <laughs> She's from the flower fairies. Glow in the dark. More mirrors. Peppa Pig. Jewel flowers. Camera. Some more pink down here. That's um, Cinderella and her courage. She's pretty cool. But the most amazing part about this, other than the HD Designs Crochet, is this. I've put making moments and memories. I just need an ampersand or an and. You know what, I didn't think of that. I was looking through my stash for an ampersand <laughs> and I was like I don't have one but I could spell and and <laughs> so I'll go back through the stash I'll add in that and and then I might put a hg just here because that's my little mantra and yeah I love that I want that to be part of my tattoo as well so let's turn this back around eh. What do you think? What do you think to my stickered sewing machine? <laughs> now, I know it's not for everyone. Um, I've decided to do this because this machine is over 14 years old. I'm not gonna sell it, I will be keeping it. Um, and so I decided to go for it. I haven't done my overlocker because that's still brand new, pretty much, it's still in the cellophane. Um, if I decide not to use that, I could sell that on, but this, this is staying and I'm hoping that one day I'll be teaching, you know, my daughters, my sons, how to use it and to make basic projects. So it's staying as part of the tribe. I just love it. I just love it. <laughs> okay, tribe, that's all for this week. Um, come back next week for more of a regular instalment. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favourite sticker is and I'll see you soon. Bye.